Tobalites. Welcome to Tobalites TV. I am your English teacher, Ma'am Geraldine Ayaranzo. Today, we will be having a video as part of our English reading program char. Or come, hang out, and read. Are you ready, Tobalites? Let's go! And for our lesson objectives, number one, recognize what noun is. And number two, Demonstrate understanding of the fable. But before everything else, let me give you first some tips on how to improve your reading comprehension skill. Number 1. Improve your vocabulary. Number 2. Come up with questions about the text you are reading. Number 3. Use context clues. Number 4. Look for the main idea. 5. Write summary of what you read. Number 6. Break up the reading into smaller sections. And last, pace yourself. This time, let us have some words that will help you better understand the fable that we are going to read later. The first one is consent. It is a noun which means ask permission or agreement to do something. Let us use consent in a sentence. Let your parents sign the parental consent form first before you join the camp. The next word is rush. It is a verb. Move with urgent haste. In a sentence, Nick rushed after her. The third word is saggy. It is an adjective, meaning hanging down loosely or drooping. Let us use it in a sentence. A facelift can reduce saggy skin and wrinkles. And the last word is tight. It is an adjective, which means Close fitting, especially uncomfortably so. Let us use it in a sentence. The blouse is too tight for Kimmy. Now class, do you still remember what nouns are? So let us have a recap of nouns. The underlined words to be mentioned and read in the fable below are nouns. And what are nouns again? Nouns are part of speech which refer to person, place, event, animal, quality, idea, or thing. And here are the examples of nouns. Can you read, Tobalites? Now, we are going to read a fable titled, The Cow and the Carabao. But first, let us identify what a fable is. It is a story in which animals speak and act like people, and which is usually meant to teach a lesson. Now, Tobalites, are you ready? Come, hang out, and read. Good job, Tobalites! Now, I want you to prepare your pen and your notebook because you are going to answer some questions about the fable that you read. But before that, I want you to read the questions carefully as well as the options in each number for you to get the proper answers. Now, Tobalites, let us start. For question number one, number two, three, four, question number five, six, and last question number ten. Good job! And for the reference, we have Tobalites. Take note that the more that you read, the more things you will know. The more you learn, the more places you will go. So Tobalites, that's it for today. And don't forget to always watch and wait for more videos regarding our reading literacy program, CHAR, or come hang out and read. So once again, Tobalites, enjoy reading and thank you.